Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Matt's Movie News. I've got three all superhero topics for you guys today, so let's get right into it. First, from the DC side of things, they have released an official synopsis, well not synopsis, but they've released the setting of the Wonder Woman movie coming out, I think it's in 2017. Uh, so, the official synopsis of the movie is that, not synopsis, the official setting of the movie is actually going to be in three different places. Following the typical three-act structure of a film, apparently the first act is going to take place on Themyscira, I believe is the correct name, of the home island of the Amazons where Wonder Woman was born and raised. Uh, way back in ancient Greece, presumably. I think Wonder Woman is that old. Um, the second act of the film is apparently going to be in World War I, which is really neat to me. I think that's a very cool setting to have Wonder Woman in because it's a little bit unexpected. It's an, a setting that's not used a whole lot in movies and certainly not in superhero movies. Um, and I, I guess that'd be a cool, like, I guess that that's, in theory, the first interaction Wonder Woman has had with the modern or close to modern world, and World War I being a major disastrous conflict uh, could be a really cool place to have Wonder Woman first interact with our world as opposed to her, uh, as opposed to her Amazonian world. And then the third act is apparently going to be set in modern times, uh, either right before, during, or right after the events of Batman vs. Superman, which Wonder Woman is going to be in Batman vs. Superman. So maybe giving us, giving it, giving us Batman vs. Superman from her perspective, or the events leading up to, or maybe even some of the events after, um, some, some things that we, had, we wouldn't, that we hadn't seen before, for sure. So I'm really excited that some those three places sound like really cool places to take Wonder Woman. And it sounds like they're doing it sort of Captain America style. Uh, it's going to be mostly, if not all of it, it's going to be a prequel um, to Batman vs. Superman and the Justice League movie, which will follow the next year, I think, after Wonder Woman is released. So those sound like some cool, mm, some cool settings for Wonder Woman, and I am... Really excited to see her in those uh, fighting in fighting. Uh, I'm not sure whose side she'd be on in World War One. It was less good and evil than World War Two was. Um, but it, it's going to be cool to see her in those settings, and I'm excited. Let's see. The second piece of news I have for you guys today is actually uh, concerning. Uh, we're going to switch back over to Marvel for a little while. The upcoming film for Ragnarok. Now. Those of you who follow my new show will know that pr they're pretty much putting every single Avenger into Captain America 3 Civil War, with the exception of Thor and the Hulk. Thor and the Hulk will not be in Captain America Civil War, as far as we know. I mean, they might make a surprise cameo, but they're definitely not going to be in most of the film. And with there being no Hulk standalone movie, it seemed a little bit weird that Marvel was just going to leave Hulk completely out of uh, Phase 3 of Marvel. It looks like they're not. Um, now it's, This story is now being run by a whole lot of different sources, so it seems pretty legit. Um, although I'm not sure if Marvel has officially re released this information yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Apparently Thor, uh, Thor 3, Ragnarok, is going to have the Hulk in it. In a big way, it's going to be like a team-up movie. It might 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 as well be called Thor and Hulk Ragnarok, which I I think sounds like a great great idea. Uh, Thor and the Hulk are the only characters not going to be in Civil War, so having them do like a sort of team-up movie um, off on Asgard or some other planet, I'm not sure. Ragnarok might be a reference to some like like the fire giant realm or whatever. I don't really know the Thor comic books that well and what that means in the context of the comic books. But uh, Hulk is definitely on a power level where he can grapple with whatever monster Thor is fighting. Um, I'm not sure how much of Hulk as opposed to Bruce Banner we're going to get, or if they're going to balance it evenly, but seeing Bruce Banner on Asgard or Hulk on Asgard, either one of those or both would be really pretty cool to see. 
And I think Hulk and Thor have got a nice camaraderie going on. So all around, this sounds like a good move. I'm happy that they're going to be util utilizing Hulk, and I hope we get some really awesome Hulk, Thor versus Giants or whatever fight scenes. Um, all right, so the last piece of news I have for you guys today is concerning Ant-Man 2. Uh, we've known it was coming for a while, well, ever since Ant-Man did so well. It, it was kind of obvious that Ant-Man 2 was coming down the pipe, but... Um, we now have an official title for Ant-Man 2, something that I really like. It is entitled Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, which for anyone who's seen Ant-Man, it's not, it's not really a spoiler, but they do some setup for a character called the Wasp, who is sort of not a female Ant-Man, but it's, it's a girl who has that sort of shrinking uh, power. Uh, with a few variations, so that she's not just Ant Girl. Um, but Ant Man and the Wasp, instead of just Ant Man Two, sounds like absolutely the right right direction to go. I, I'm, I, uh, I'm excited to see that pair up, and I hope it's really going to be, I hope it's really going to be equally balanced between those two characters, because they're both really good characters, and, uh. And the character that I'm almost absolutely sure is going to be the Wasp was really great uh, in Ant-Man 1. So, and, they, and they had a really good, nice um, chemistry. Not like romantic chemistry, but a good... They played off of each other very well on screen. And so I can't wait to see them both, you know, kicking butt at a microscopic side. Or minuscule side. <laughs> Um, all right, guys, that's everything I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye.